From invincible troops to unlimited magic items of your choice, here are some of Clash Royale's most unbelievable glitches from over the years. Number 1. In 2022, shortly after the release of the Mighty Miner, there was a glitch in the game where the Mighty Miner would sometimes register as dead when it had a sliver of health left. This would usually lead to the Mighty Miner making its way all the way to the King Tower and 3 crowning the opponent. Sure, you could use spells or other cards to take out the Mighty Miner, but you could forget about your Princess and King Towers helping out if you ever encountered this glitch. Supercell was fortunately quick to address the issue, and it was fixed fairly quickly, but not before causing its fair share of frustration. Number 2. Just a couple of months ago, Supercell released a new feature called Lucky Drops, a great addition to the game where players can open a mystery box once per day after completing a few simple tasks. These Lucky Drops would most often drop common or rare loot, but sometimes you could get lucky and get an epic or even a legendary drop, which could contain powerful magic items like the Book of Books, which were previously unobtainable for free-to-play players. Whenever an exciting new feature like this is added to the game, there will always be those who try to figure out how to exploit it, and the Lucky Drops were no different. Players quickly found out that you could actually turn your device onto airplane mode at a specific time while opening the lucky drop, and if it didn't end up giving you the loot that you were looking for, you could actually just reset your app, rinse, and repeat. Once you were happy with the loot you got from the lucky drop, you could then turn off airplane mode and actually claim the reward. This glitch was obviously very serious since players could essentially farm any items they wanted to every single day, so Supercell took action very quickly and ended up permanently banning nearly every player who took advantage of this glitch. Needless to say, this glitch is one of the craziest in Clash Royale's history, but it has since been patched, so don't go getting any ideas. Number 3. If you thought that last glitch was crazy, just listen to this. In late 2022, there was an exploit in the game that allowed players to place the flying card of their choice on the other side of the arena. For example, right on top of the opponent's king tower. I'm sure you can guess what players started doing with this glitch, but just in case, you can see on screen now. Players would place the spell of their choice on the opponent's king tower, then place a flying troop on their side of the map, usually an inferno dragon, and then by attempting to place another spell on top of the king tower, the game would get tricked into placing an Inferno Dragon directly on the opponent's King Tower. Obviously this combo gave players an unfair advantage, and it was especially deadly when combined with the Freeze spell. Just like pretty much every other glitch on this list, many players were banned for knowingly exploiting this glitch, and Supercell ended up fixing it pretty quickly once they caught on to what players were doing with it. Number 4. I'm starting to think 2022 was just a cursed year for Clash Royale because the clone spell also experienced a major bug that year. As many of you know, the clone spell will only clone real troops, not clones. So, for example, if you were to clone the 6 minions in a minion horde, you would get an additional 6 minions. And if you were to clone all 12 again, you would only get 6 more again, for a total of 18, since you can't clone the clones. Well, for a short time in 2022, this wasn't actually the case. During this time, you could actually clone your clones, so players were frantically using Mirror Clone on ladder to try and abuse the glitch to get free wins with their crazy swarms of troops. This particular glitch was something that could happen naturally in game and didn't require any intentional setup per se, so nobody actually ended up getting banned for this one. Regardless though, this glitch was a lot of fun to play with before it ended up getting patched. Number 5. There was a time in Clash Royale where certain cards, namely the skeletons, would get stuck behind the king tower if placed in a certain way. Normally, any card you placed back there would slowly make its way to the right or the left and across the bridge to your opponent's side, but for some reason this didn't happen anymore with this glitch. It wasn't only skeletons though, as many people were actually able to get more expensive cards like the Witch stuck as well depending on the placement. You might think this glitch wasn't a big deal since it could probably just be fixed by nudging the troop out of the way with another card, but you'd actually be wrong. In some cases, other troops would get stuck behind the Witch or Skeletons if placed incorrectly, leading to more frustration for the player. On top of that though, people were able to stack a Witch or two at the King Tower and use this to build up a larger than normal push, which was an unfair advantage. So Supercell did end up taking action and patching this glitch soon after. Number 6. In the very early days of Clash Royale, players figured out that if you played elixir collectors all over your side of the base until it was completely full, the game would get confused and actually let you place an inferno tower on the opponent's side of the map right on top of their princess tower. Now, this wasn't the easiest thing to pull off, but it was a unique way to win games since the inferno dragon hadn't been added to the game yet at that time.
time. You could technically pull off this glitch with other buildings too, but elixir collectors were the only viable way since they would obviously give you plenty of elixir and allow you to fill your side of the base in time to pull off the glitch. This one has obviously been patched along with all of the other glitches on this list, but it will go down in history as one of the earliest and most insane glitches we've ever seen in Clash Royale. Number 7. Similar to the previous glitch, when the Goblin Drill was released in Clash Royale, players had many ideas for potential glitches. Since this was the first building that technically took time to place since the drill had to travel to wherever you tapped on the screen, players wondered what would happen if you placed the Goblin Drill and then either player placed a building in the same spot before the drill got there. Most of the time, the drill would just move out of the way into the closest spot that it could after the building was placed, similar to trying to place a building on top of another building like normal. But then, people tried placing elixir collectors and teslas across the entire arena, including both sides, and once they did this, if either player tried placing a goblin drill, the drill would just sit under the king tower digging forever until a spot opened up for it to fill. This glitch, while very funny, was obviously not viable in a normal game on ladder or anything, but people definitely had a lot of fun messing around with it in friendly battles and things of that nature. Number 8 In 2021, players discovered a way to exploit the play again feature in friendly battles to actually enter games with only one or two cards in their deck. While this glitch was friendly battle exclusive, it didn't make it any less hilarious and crazy. Players would play decks like Night Witch Clone and just obliterate the opponent since they could keep cloning every few seconds. This glitch could be done with any card you wanted, so people got creative and got a ton of unique footage of hundreds of the same card in the arena all at once, which was pretty crazy to see. I think I speak for all of us when I say I am grateful that this glitch was never possible inside of normal games on ladder because that would have been absolutely awful but regardless, this glitch will surely go down as one of the most insane in the game's history. Number 9 Way back in 2017, Supercell added the infamous touchdown game mode where players would try to reach a specific area on the other opponent's side with various different cards. Each time a player made it all the way to the other side with any troop, the field would reset, wiping away anything still alive on the field. If you placed a goblin barrel at just the right time though, the goblins would actually not get cleared, which funnily enough would allow them to run free during the cutscene scene and score an easy touchdown against the opponent. The timing for this wasn't actually as strict as you'd think, so plenty of players were able to abuse this and get much easier wins before Supercell ultimately ended up getting the problem taken care of. Number 10 A few months ago, just before the second evolution slot was added into the game for players with King Tower level 15, there was a glitch in the game where you could actually activate the second evolution slot by using the deck search feature to create a deck with a card that had an evolution in the second slot. Now before you freak out and wonder why nobody told you about this glitch when it was in the game, let me assure you that this was purely a visual bug and wouldn't actually allow you to use the card's evolution in battle. Can you imagine if it did though? Regardless, it's still always cool to see things like this in the game that really shouldn't exist. If you enjoyed this video, subscribe to the channel to make sure you don't miss similar videos in the future. Also, comment down below what your favorite glitch was that we covered in today's video, as I'd be interested to hear. 